ramble on for days. Sorry. My battery's gonna die. How about now? I think that's good. I don't know. It's still a little bit good. Hello! And welcome back to my room. I don't think we've been in here in a while because I was on a cruise and I hope that you saw all of them. If not, you should go watch them. I have a whole nine days of them by now. I haven't edited nine yet, but I think I might do that tonight or tomorrow morning before you will even see this. So yeah, but since I was away having a grand old time in Jamaica and Coco Cay and Grand Cayman and Cozumel, driving ATVs and swimming with dolphins and doing all sorts of fun things with the guys and Jen. If you haven't seen those yet, I will, I don't know, make a little box or something or link day one down below. You can find the rest of the days. I'm confident that you can handle that. So yeah, since I was away for a week, and have been editing all of those things right after that. I've been very busy doing that and working. So I missed the time for January favorites, which is, you know, the beginning of February, which was exactly when I was on the cruise. So I figured I'd combine January and February favorites into one since I was gone for the first and busy editing for the second. Now I can kind of catch up on other things again. So here we are. Welcome back to my room. It's very nice to have you in here. I hope you've enjoyed the cruise vlogs. I sure enjoyed recording them. I hope everyone else enjoyed being in them because I kind of made them be in them. But I think they warmed up to it after a while. But yeah, let's get to it. I have quite a few things, but not as, not as many as the 2014. If you haven't seen that one, I'll link that somewhere so you can go see it or you can go find it. I don't have that many videos so shouldn't be a hard task. Anyway, eventually I'll get all caught up and do monthly favorites. That would be fun. I don't know if anyone cares but I think it's fun and I like to share with you things that I enjoy and I find lots of new things all the time. So let's get to it. Start off with my favorite thing obviously movies and TV. We haven't spoken before. This is most of my DVD collection. I don't know if you can see that section over there, but that's my unwatched section. The big one behind me is everything I've already seen and it goes all the way down to the floor. So yeah, I love my movies. I have TV on right now. When I'm done with this, I'll go back to watching Our Real Monsters and reliving my 90s kid feels. And I'll, I'll show you those another time. I have a lot of things ordered for the future, so hopefully some unboxings and more stuff like that. I have a whole bunch of videos planned, so hopefully you'll stick around, subscribe, so we can hang out more often. Yeah, it'll be fun. But yeah, so first I have a show that I was obsessed with in January. I was recommended this by a co-worker who is very awesome. Hi Joanne. She said that if I enjoyed horror and like the art of gruesome scenes that are like beautifully done. I know it sounds really weird but I'm not really quite that twisted. I just, there's some type of art in how people think of these things that I could never think of. Yeah, so... Hannibal season one and two. I watched them both in January I think and they were awesome. I can't wait until the current, well the next season that's coming in the summer. cannot wait for that because this one ended pretty crazily so I'm excited. But yeah these are really good. If you can watch them, do it. I also have a Netflix. I don't have a Netflix show for this month because I didn't get to get quite so invested in Netflix when I was editing all these videos and cruising and everything. But I do have a movie. It's called Housebound. It's streaming on Netflix right now. I think it's a movie from New Zealand. 
and it's kind of, I don't want to give anything away, but it reminds me of a very old movie that's hilariously awesome. I like movies that can make me span the whole spectrum of emotions throughout. Like I like when I'm scared and then I'm laughing and then feeling bad for somebody and then you feel the love feels between couples or parents and children or whatever and then you're scared again and then you're giggling. I like that. That's that's my favorite kind. I mean I like movies that just straight scare me but I always tend to like movies more that are everything. Funny, scary, sad, happy, romantic. Yeah. That theme carries through for my next favorite which is Horns. That's Daniel Radcliffe. Harry Potter and Juno Temple, who I also am obsessed with. I will watch anything with Juno Temple in it. I think I only didn't like one movie with her in it that I've seen so far, but every other one. Awesome. You should see The Brass Teapot if you haven't yet. It's not scary at all. It's not horror, but it's hilarious and awesome. But Horns is sort of horror, sort of fantasy, sort of just out there weird. It's like a crime story and a love story and everything balled up into one and as I just told you that's my favorite. But also I like plain old scary. I guess Chucky has some funny moments. This is the newest one, Curse of Chucky. It's like the continuation of the Chucky thing. Yeah it was very entertaining. I liked it. Different story. Still the same old Chucky which I love. I would absolutely love to be killed by Chucky in a movie. I think that's one of my like dreams is to be in a horror movie being killed or charging at Chucky or Freddy or Samara something like that I would I would poop my pants of excitement to be in a horror movie or even like take part in it I think my dream job is to like create the cover art for um, horror movies or happy movies, whatever kind of movies, but obviously horror is my favorite, so. But yeah, I have a special Chucky thing that I should be unboxing eventually. I pre-ordered it, so I can't wait for that to come so we can open it together. I have trouble waiting for you to open things. Alright, I have one food favorite. This Okay, maybe I have more. Number one food favorite of... February was cruise food. Without a doubt, cruise food is the most delicious. I feel like you're eating gourmet every night. And I ate escargot again. I love escargot. It's really weird. But they slather it in butter and cheese and garlic and oil. And it's in this delicious little thing. You rub the bread all in it. Oh my god, it's so good. That and the buns on the cruise. You know, you butter the roll. The cheddar one. If you ever go on Royal Caribbean, get a cheddar roll. So good. And get the escargot. It's weird, but if you like clams, you'll like it. The only food favorite that I have in here. I'm supposed to eat a lot of fiber. I have an issue. And I try to put fiber in my drinks, but I prefer to eat my fiber. And I ordered... These are the second fiber snacks from Isogenics that I've tried. The first one was honey almond. These are peanut chocolate chew. Delicious. Um, tastes like you would expect it to. Peanutty chocolatey. And they get the pipes moving. So that's always a plus. But don't eat it at work. I prefer not to eat it at work. Just like coffee. Coffee does it too. Uh, actually I have one more isogenics thing. Everyone around me has been getting sick. I have been spraying this isomune plus in my mouth. You're supposed to spray five sprays a day. I pretty much use the whole thing. I'm ordering more. But I, I was a big believer in airborne. But I feel like this works better. Everyone around me has been sick. I had My co-worker directly next to me was very sick. Had to stay home a few days. The one behind him was very sick. People have been coughing, sneezing, whatever around me. And I didn't get sick yet. Knock, knock wood. And I flew on a plane. I went on vacation. Usually I get sick before every vacation. I guess like stress and whatever. But I didn't. So thank you Ice Immune. I think it was your 
doing. I'm going to be getting more of this. Actually, it's in my auto ship for next month. Again, not an Isogenics pusher. I just really enjoy what they have. I like the bars. I like the immune stuff. I like the Ionix thing in the morning for B vitamins. I don't exactly eat when I'm supposed to, but I consistently use the stuff just because I like it. My favorite body spray these two months, it's been uh, this pink warm and cozy from Victoria's Secret. It's in a really cute bottle with polka dots. It's pink top. It smells like a sweet floral vanilla. What does it say? Cozy up in toasted vanilla and peony. Pretty accurate. But yeah, it smells really good. Kind of reminds me of the Noir, which is my all-time favorite, I think. Well, that and Forever Red, but it's along the same lines of Noir, but more like springy. I would say this is a spring-like noir, but it's also. Awesome. Wasn't so sure at first, but I love it. A weird favorite I have is this. It's called Posh Pits. I got it on Etsy. I'll try and link it down there. It's a natural deodorant, so I can feel good about what I'm putting on my pits. It is handmade, all natural, phthalate free or whatever, paraben free and aluminum free, which is the main reason why I wanted this type of deodorant because aluminum is not good for you. And I don't know why it's in every deodorant, except the ones on Etsy, and it smells amazing. It's wild orange lavender, and it it lasts all day, I think. I don't really have a problem with smelling, I just don't like the feeling of not having deodorant on because I don't like that weird wet feel. But this, it feels like normal deodorant, you know, you swipe it on, and it lasts at least until I go to bed. If I wake up and I didn't like swipe on a little more, then you smell a little funk. But you're gonna take a shower anyway, so what does it matter? Yeah, I would totally buy this again. But I think my friend Tiffany is gonna try to make some natural deodorant, and I'm gonna try hers and see if I can support my friend instead. Not that I wouldn't love to support this person, I love handmade things. Props to you, whoever made Posh Pits. On that note, my friend Tiffany, she's starting, not starting, she's had an Etsy store, but she's starting a new hobby of soap making and shampoo making and stuff, and I just love all of her stuff. My favorite thing, what got me hooked, is the lotion bar she gave me. I don't have that much left of it, but I've been trying to savor it because it's amazing. It's just this little, it's just a solid lotion bar. It smells like you want to eat it. I've thought about licking it before, but I don't think it would taste very good. But it's just a little bar, and you just like warm it up in your hands and rub it on them, and it feels so nice. It made my heels feel really good, like in the winter. I would get in my bed, and I'd rub it on my heels. It felt so good. I think the scent is Sweet Orange Cocoa, which she also gave me a conditioner of the same smell. It's a beautiful smell. She definitely has those on her Etsy store. I will link it down below try these solid lotion bars because they're awesome and Tiffany's awesome. Yep, that's my friend from work. She makes awesome stuff. Another thing she has that I've been obsessed with, it's a little soggy and gross from the shower, please excuse, but it's an oatmeal soap bar. It smells like oatmeal and it has like oatmeal scrubbies in it and also that band that goes all the way around that is more scrubby of nutmeg. Feels great. Makes your skin feel all nice from the oatmeal. And it's scrubby, which makes me feel very happy. Another scrubby thing from her, which is my absolute favorite thing she's made, I think. It's in this mason jar. It's a face scrub. I usually wash my face before I use it. It actually looks really scary, but it... I'm gonna try and show you without... Let me lift you up. It looks like this. It looks kind of like oil sludge. What does it remind me of? The little sludge slug that pops out of Aku's mouth and spirited away when Chihiro puts the, well Sen, puts the ball gross thing into Aku's mouth when he's sick. And she, he spits out the slug and she stomps on it. That's kind of what it reminds me of, but it's awesome. It's activated charcoal, which is why it's black. 
which is supposed to like pull blackheads out of your face and all that good stuff and regular sugar lots of delicious smelling oils I don't want to get it wrong like eucalyptus and tea tree pine something like that but I think I like this over the Dark Angels Lush scrub that I have because it's a little more gentle and it like leaves your skin feeling soft after I guess that's all the oils but like the sugar kind of dissolves as you're rubbing and then it just feels like silky I don't know how to explain it but I'm obsessed I use that every single day now thank you Tiffany again I'll link her down below and you should get some for yourself when she lists it I don't know if she has that listed yet but she should so that you can go buy it another face related uh, favorite I have is this lush tea tree water you just spray it on after you come out of the shower and it's supposed to balance your skin and I feel like it's working not entirely sure but and then after that I use lush vanishing cream I'm not sure I've talked about this before boots it in the background I like it better than the imperialis one it's lighter and makes me less oily so I kind of use the imperialis at night when I wash my face instead so that you know I'm not oily all day I break out sometimes when I use imperialis which I don't like I feel like I don't break out with this nice light one but it doesn't leave you drier um, another lush thing is the mask of magnamenti I don't know if it really does anything for me but I really like it I like the smell I like the feeling it's weird it looks gross green it smells amazing though like mint and like green tea at the same time ice cream I don't know but it's a mask you like put it on after you wash your face and leave it on for like 10 minutes you're supposed to and it has like beans that are all scrubby but not harsh scrubby like smooth scrubby and then you wash it off it's supposed to make your face nice and I don't know really what it does but it feels good getting down to the end now you're saying thank god um, <laughs> this this sweater is my favorite I got it for Christmas thank you Aunt Terry my favorite aunt and godmother she's so awesome she made me this blanket which is a forever favorite I picked the colors but she picked the pattern it's super awesome I only thought of that because my next item is cat related um this is my hairbrush don't mind all the hair in it but I got it with a gift card I got for Christmas and it's pink and black which is obviously the theme of my room uh, um, it says every day is catter day and it has a bunch of cats all over it so of course I like it because every day is catter day for me so I'm not sure what I was talking about but my camera decided to stop recording which was not cool but I think we just missed the makeup favorites so to recap what I already told you but you don't know that I told you this brow drama I know I've talked about it before but I got a new color a darker color the soft brown and I like it a lot better than the blonde because my eyebrows are not blonde they are soft brown so obviously it looks better and this red blonde color burst I've talked about the lip stain bomb stains before I love them all um, but this one I have on right now um, it's called cherish it's number 15 and it's like a really light pink I love these because they smell like mint and they're a stain not just a lipstick and they're not like drying like lipsticks it's nice and balmy another favorite I have is this NYX BB cream it I don't know if it's just not that colorful it says nude but you, I always have a problem with matching colors to my face but this one it looks like I don't put anything on so either it perfectly matches me or it's like see-through either way it's like the perfect color and I like it. It doesn't make me oily well any more than I am. It's oil free. Perfection in a tube. I agree. Sometimes I mix it with um, my other BB cream just to use up the other ones that I don't like as much. Another um, type of thing like that actually are two NYC face powders. This one I have on right now it's the Smooth Skin BB Radiance Perfecting Powder. Comes with a little spongy inside. 
Um, this one is Naturally Beige. That's the one I have on right now. It's like too dark, but not for tan me. This is like perfect color for tan me. Not so good for pale winter me, which is where this one comes in. This one's Smooth Skin Pressed Face Powder in Naturally Beige, but this is not the same color. This is, this is like my perfect pale face color and this is like my perfect tan color you know how that goes but yeah the first one has a lot more coverage the BB one in the tan package it covers a lot like I can see where I put it on the other one is just like a kind of translucent one I feel like I don't know another face makeup favorite I have is this elf blush I've only ever had one blush and it was actually my mom's so it was like a big step for me to buy some. I have this on right now. I actually put a little too much, but it's very pink. Not like a corally pink. It's like a baby pink. It's called Pink Passion. I love it. I always have an issue where I like really grind my brush into things because they're not coming off. But this, like, you make one swipe and that's all you need. It all comes off on the, the brush, which is awesome. And then my last thing that I have on my bed here is this little elf brush. I'm sorry, my hand's shaky. It's a blending eye brush, which kind of like changed my eyeshadow game. I only ever had one eyeshadow brush and it sufficed for what I needed it for, but I like being able to like erase when I go too hard. I have a couple other random ones. Um, I have two favorite bracelets that I got myself and this top one. I don't know if I've talked about this before. I don't think I have. But this top one I got off of Etsy. I can try and link the shop down below. I don't think they have any more like this, but I'm sure they have similar things. But I really liked when I heard about the um, don't panic button for anxiety awareness. I was diagnosed this year with generalized anxiety disorder and panic disorder and I had a really rough time so knowing like everyone came out of the woodworks and told me that they had similar issues and stuff and I was like oh my god I never knew and I felt so like relieved that so many other people had the same type of issues and I think a lot of the time I watched Zoella because it's good to see somebody else that has the same issues go through stuff and do well and she had this don't panic button campaign or whatever you want to call it where you know you're supposed to wear a little red button and it's supposed to mean the opposite of like a panic button you're supposed to see it and be like oh that person has it too or that person knows about it and you know you can just like share a smile with them or something and just feel an instant connection with them and not feel alone so that I wear every single day I don't like to take it off it makes me happy and you gotta remember that you're not alone definitely not you can always talk to me um cause so many people talked to me when I was going through a lot of crap and thank you everyone and on that note I got this metal bracelet I have and it's a quote forget who it's from but it says she believed she could so she did and that's goes along with the same theme you gotta think that you can do it and you can that's why I'm here I was like I can do that so here I am trying to help people like they helped me on YouTube because all of the YouTube people just being there when I was feeling crappy just helped a lot and I want to hopefully do that for somebody else. So that's my inspirational bracelet arm. This one I've had for a while. The quote's on the inside but we can talk about that another day. But this is my inspirational side of my arm. It reminds me to just keep on going and keep pushing for what I want to do. And that's important. So yeah, that's all for jewelry. My song obsession for February. I heard this song on the cruise ship in August. I went on a cruise in August with Mike and I heard this song all the time 
and I could only whistle the tune and I didn't know what song it was and I couldn't use Shazam because you can't use internet on the boat or you'd be roaming and you'd get all these charges. So I couldn't Shazam it, but I heard it in the airport. In the airport you can Shazam because you're in the United States. So I did and I figured it out and it's The Walker by Fits in the Tantrums and I'm so happy that I finally know what this song is but um give me a thumbs up if you know the song and you like to whistle it like I do not gonna do it now I did it before I started and it's kind of embarrassing not that I didn't embarrass myself the whole time on the cruise but alright I'm gonna save you from all this rambling one day I will get it down where I don't ramble for too long and I just get to the point because I know nobody wants to sit through half an hour of me talking. Boring. Unless you like that. Let me know if you like that or you like short ones or... Tell me what you like in the comments. Tweet me. Whatever. Go on my Instagram. Tell me on there. Whatever. Talk to me. I will talk back most of the time. Unless I miss it. Don't get notified or something. Oh, one more thing I really like recently is plants. My last pet other than cats died recently my last rat he died and he used to live in this little corner but instead now i have plants or plant pots that will be filled with plants i have mr prickles right there it's mr prickles and those three have studio ghibli names but i'm not gonna go into that right now and that's my really sad bonsai tree that i got when my um fluffy cat had to be put down that's her collar around it and I have here some seeds germinating, and I'm going to plant them tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. Probably badly, but we're going to try. But yeah, that's my new hobby to replace having small pets that aren't cats. Because it's very sad when they die. I feel like you are a little less sad when plants die, so it's a little bit better of a trade-off, I guess. Well, anyway, um, thanks for watching. And I hope you stick around to watch some more. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know if you like this. Thumbs up for kittens and cats and horror movies and cat clothing and cruises. Thumbs up if you like the cruise vlogs. But anyway, stick around and we can have some fun. Hopefully be my friend. Bye! check my notes here. I need to stop hunching. It's hard not to hunch in this chair. I look like I'm glowing.